Hello everyone, this is Mark from www.englishmark.net Today I'm going to talk about the difference between lose, the verb, and miss. Okay. The one question that uh, my students ask me all the time is the difference between this verb and lose. So L double O S E. Well, the one that I just mentioned is an adjective. This one is a verb. Okay, and the pronunciation changes. Lose the adjective. So I can give you an example. I like my clothes lose. Okay, this is one example. And the other one, the verb lose, okay, is to lose. And the past is lost and the past participle lost. Okay, so I gave you two examples with two graphs and I hope that it helps. So the first one is he always loses his keys. Okay, he always loses his keys. And the other example I gave you is I lost my appetite when I saw the kind of pizza. Okay, maybe there was something in the pizza that I didn't like, so I lost my appetite. This is what um, I want to say about lose, and there is something else. Below, if you look uh, on the rectangle, the light blue rectangle, I give you another example to show you the difference. We always get lost when we come to Rome. We always get lost when we come to Rome. This means that um, I c we can't find our way in Rome. We always get lost. If you don't understand the verb uh, to get, there is a lesson on my channel uh, talking about get. Okay, so I, I advise you to just uh, go there and take a look at it. Then we have in the rectangle, the uh, orange rectangle, miss. Miss, the uh, past of miss is missed. We pronounce with a T at the end, missed. Okay, it's a regular verb. So I give you two graphs so to help you to understand and to make the difference between lose and miss. So we uh, use miss to, for transportation. For example, bus, airplane, train. Um, I wrote it down there, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, I can read it for you. I've just missed the train, okay? Many of my students, they uh, say, um, instead of miss, they use lose, or lose, yes, lose. I've just lost my train, no, okay, no. You can say that. We say, I've just missed the train or the bus or whatever. Okay, missed. Don't forget that. Now, for feelings. For feelings, uh, we use miss. So, uh, for example, a person you haven't seen for long, you can say, I miss you. Okay, I miss you. Okay, and uh, for a person or for uh, an object, for example, he misses his car. Okay, he's always taking the bus to work, okay? So he misses his car, okay? So I hope these uh, two verbs are more um, understandable now, <laughs> and I hope you don't have any problems, okay? So if you have any questions, you can uh, just post them under this video, and um, have a great day. I, see, I hope to see you next time. And please subscribe and uh, share my videos. So, have a nice day. Bye-bye.